everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for this opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and pray. We've been talking about community and being the church. Today we'll talk about community is about caring and love. Romans chapter 12 and verse 6. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. When the Apostle Paul talks about the body of Christ in Romans 12, he urges his listeners to use whatever gifts they have been given to their fullest ability. It doesn't matter which gifts we might have. What matters is how we use those gifts and how we are able to impact the body of Christ with those gifts. In community, people care for each other. They use their gifts to help each other and to see that anyone who is wounded or hurted or in some kind of a difficulty is looked after and loved. Christians are suffering from a lack of love which leaves them isolated, lonely, uncared and discouraged. They feel, they feel used instead of loved, criticized rather than affirmed. Now this can affect our marriages and our families as well as the tasks that we do every day. It, it will also affect our personal walk with God. This is not lack in God's love, which overflows constantly towards us, but a lack of Christian community. When we have a great task to accomplish, we sometimes forget that people are called to accomplish that extraordinary task and ordinary people need to receive their love. The triune God who lives eternally in relationships created us for relationships. We were made to fellowship with each other. We are called to love one another, to give love, to receive love. We truly need to be that body which Christ is coming back for. We need to we need each other for comfort in times of suffering. We need each other to rejoice when, and to weep when others are weeping. No matter how strong we are, we need to bear one another's burdens and receive help with our own burdens. We need each other's gifts. We need to hear the truth spoken in love. We need people with whom we can pray for healing and wholeness. We need conversations that will build us up and affirm our gifts and abilities and capabilities. Along with our planning and programs, we need spiritual direction and discernment of the will of God for our lives. We need strength and support in the spiritual battle that we are living in. These needs can never be adequately met in impersonal, task-oriented structures. In Colossians, 3, 12 through 14, it says, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies and kindness, humility, meekness, and long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave, so also you must do. Verse 14 says, But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of of perfection. The Apostle Paul describes the new life that followers of Christ live in because of Christ's sacrifice. We put off the old and we put on the new. Unconditional love and care is integral in community. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for it's a wonderful opportunity, Lord, and you're teaching us, Lord, that as a church, we are called to love, care, and support each other, Lord. And even as we do that, Lord, we pray that we will be sensitive to each other, that we will uplift, empower each other, O oh God. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that you are building your body here on earth. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.